kissing, smooching, locking lips, the official gateway drug to getting in between the sheets. Sure, maybe you've already made some contact. There was a hug at the door when you said hello at the beginning of your date. And maybe you placed your hand on the small of her back while she was walking through the restaurant. Perhaps you went Victorian with it and your hands happened to brush against each other during conversation. Whatever contact you've had so far, it is all leading up to this moment. You lock eyes and you are sure that you see that little twinkle. Is she thinking what you're thinking? Cause maybe you're thinking you wanna shove your tongue down her throat. Grr! And this, my friends, is where I stop you. Before you move any further, I'm here to tell you that this moment is crucial. In fact, I would go so far as to say that it is make or break. For a woman, the kiss is that first taste of what you'll be like in bed. And you best believe she is sizing you up. I'm Caitlin V, your sex and relationship coach. And fear not, today, I'm gonna guide you through how to kiss in a way that leaves her wanting way more. That's right, how you kiss is telling her more than what you might think. So stay tuned to find out how to kiss the woman so she knows you're good in bed and wants to get into one with you. And make sure to stick around until the end because I'm gonna share a pro tip that will take your makeout game to level 1000. ka ching ka ching ka ching ka ching ka ching she will not see what is coming, and trust me when I say it will blow her mind. Today, I'm sharing with you the two major mess ups when it comes to kissing. I'm also gonna do a deep dive into the three most important elements of a truly great kiss. So whether you're gearing up to kiss someone new for the first time, or you wanna make sure you're nailing it with your wife, get ready to dive deep into the art of the smooch. And trust me, this is one thing you are going to want to master. So how do you make sure that showing her first base will leave her begging for a home run? Let's start with the science of a great kiss. There's some pretty wild stuff that happens in our brains when we kiss. Our lips, not those lips, but also those lips are one of the most sensitive parts of our body. And when they're stimulated the right way, our brain releases a cocktail of three chemicals that make us feel a natural high. So what are these magic three? The first is dopamine. This is a heavy hitter. It lights up the same parts of your brain as when you're using heroin or cocaine. It literally makes you feel high and euphoric. So if you're taking notes, if you do it well, you could actually leave her addicted to your kiss. Way healthier than cocaine. Secondly, oxytocin, known as the love hormone. If the kiss is going well, the hormone release of oxytocin fosters feelings of affection and attachment. It's like a warm, sexy hug for your face. And last of all, if your lip locking is truly hitting all of the right notes, she will additionally get a burst of serotonin. This hormone fosters a general sense of happiness and well-being, and well, who doesn't want more of that? So now that we've established all of the amazing things that happen in your body and brain when you're making out, the only question left to answer is how? For a woman, the kiss is a huge decision point. It is the moment she decides whether or not she's gonna get naked with you or stop answering your texts until she fades like a ghost. Before I get into what you should be doing, I wanna talk about what you absolutely should not be doing. Here are the two major no-nos of this intimate kiss. Okay, you know that I'm a huge supporter of letting your freak flag fly. If there is anything I value around here, it is definitely being your kookiest, wildest self as often as possible. And there are all sorts of amazing kinks and quirks that you can explore with your partner. And I am here for it, literally I'm here for it. I started a whole YouTube channel for it. You should subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. And I'm here to tell you that nine times out of 10, the first kiss is not the time to do it. That's right, when it comes to the first kiss, vanilla is the way to go. When you're going in for that new kiss with a new partner, the best course of action is actually to play it safe. Sure, maybe your date really wants to feel your teeth sinking into her skin so that she can live out her vampire conversion fantasy. 
But unless she's explicitly told you that, let's just play it safe and save that for later. Also, now would be a good time to address that I definitely have low-key vampire teeth. If you have been watching me this whole time and thinking that I have vampire teeth, would you just like make a comment in the comments just to let me know? It would feel good for me. Sometimes I feel self-conscious about my blood-sucking abilities and um, sometimes when people tell me that they like them, it feels nice. So, a little bit about me. That's Nomo, Nomo, no, no, number one. Avoid biting, lip chewing, gnawing, sucking. If a hamster does it, you probably should not. No one wants to make out with a hamster. No, no, number two. You also want to stay away from any groping or as your aunt might put it, heavy petting. There is a time and a place for that kind of behavior, but it is not in the first kiss. It is way sexier to show a woman that her comfort and safety is your priority. It is sexy to make sure that she is picking up what you are putting down. And if you are not making these considerations in the kiss, she's going to assume that you won't make them in the bedroom either. And she would be right to. This is how she's sussing you out. However, there actually is a way to show her all of these things while still being direct, confident, and going in for what you want, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how. Now that we've gone over the don'ts, the moment that we all have been waiting for, here are my tips and tricks for getting her weak in the knees with that sweet, sweet kiss. The three elements of a spectacular kiss. Number one, consent. Consent, baby. That is right, consent, baby. C-O-N-S-E-N-T. It works. So you wanna kiss her and you want to make sure that she wants to kiss you too, I have a wild idea for you. Ask. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ask. Let's just be clear. There are totally times where the moment is just right. She's looking at your lips. She's moving in closer. You're both on the same wavelength and the kiss just happens. Mwah! It's great. It's beautiful. But let's be totally honest, most times there's some uncertainty. You're looking at her, you're trying to read her signals, you're feeling your stomach do these little flip-flops and hope that she's on the same page and that is a-okay. These are situations where it just never hurts to ask. Here's the deal, being considerate and mindful of a woman's boundaries is hot. It is sexy. It is a smoldering display of confidence and there are no two ways around it. Asking if you can kiss a woman or just verbally letting her know that you'd like to also tells her about what you'll be like in the bedroom. It tells her that you care, that she's comfortable, that she's having a good time and feeling safe. So if you've ever thought, would it asking right now ruin the moment? Let me just plainly tell you, no, it would not ruin the moment. Then how do you do it in a way that feels smooth and easy? Well, you could just ask, can I kiss you? Say, I'd love to kiss you. Or, it is my authentic desire to kiss you right now. That one's for the poets out there. And here is a pro tip. If you are feeling really bold, you can ask her how she wants to be kissed. Light tongue, heavy, deep, sensual. If you're thinking about asking for that kiss, but you're worried about being awkward or the chance that she may say no, I guarantee you that coming up to her and shoving your face towards her and having her say no is, is it's not the answer. Say, hey, can I kiss you? And how do you wanna be kissed? So you've overcome the hurdle of kiss initiation. Kissiation, never mind. You're making out, fireworks. They fill the sky, love chemicals are flowing. What could go wrong? Well, a couple things. Number one, did you take care of your lips? Are you a little bit chapped and a little rough around the edges? Consider thinking about that in advance. Did you order a garlic dish at dinner? Maybe not that. And for the love of God, floss, oh my gosh, floss. Sorry, I'm gonna just be real. Because I care about you, I have to be honest with you. You need to floss. Also, consider if you've got some beards. Are you oiling these guys or do they feel like pubes just like mashing into her face? We can smell your beard, dudes. We can smell it. Some of y'all have really nice smelling beards. Some of y'all could use just like a little oil. Keep those lustrous face locks looking lustry. Guys, you can be the absolute best kisser in the world. But if your mouth doesn't taste or smell very good, it's all for knock. She's not gonna be able to wait to get her face off of 
of it. So you can protect the awesome sauce of your kiss by having great oral hygiene, by making sure that your lips are soft and smooth, and by spending a little bit of extra time maintaining your, I didn't come up with like a cute title. It's like a pillow because you, when your face touches it as a woman, it's like it just pillows your face when you're making out with a bearded guy. So make sure it's a pillow and not like a prickly, spiky, thorny thing out of a fairy tale. Thank you. All right. <laughs> which brings me to do number three, which is technique. So we've covered the basics of pre-smooch maintenance and how to get things going. She knows that you take good care of your body based on your excellent hygiene. She knows that you're gonna take care of her body because you checked in with her about the kiss. You are laying down all of the groundwork for her wanting to go to bed with you and building her confidence in the fact that once you're there, you're gonna know exactly what to do. All that's left is to wow her with technique. And lucky for you, I have broken it down into four secrets to truly orgasmic kissing. And they are rhythm, pacing, intensity, and buildup. These all sound like things that you'd wanna ace in the sack, right? Well, guess what? You wanna nail them in a kiss as well. There are a lot of parallels between good kissing and good sex, and a smooch is the perfect opportunity to send that message to your new partner that you know what you're doing. First of all, be mindful of what she's doing. Let her take the lead a little bit and reciprocate accordingly. What is her rhythm like? Is she slipping you a lot of tongue? Is she going for a light touch? Chances are that she doesn't want a firm, heavy tongue down her throat if she's just giving you little tongue flicks. Show her that you're paying attention to what works for her and then reciprocate back. And then there's another thing that some guys get wrong. I'll give you a hint. You have two and the ladies love to know that you know what to do with them. During a first kiss, you wanna keep it gentle and explorative. A hand gently placed on a waist, hot. A gentle caress of the jawline, mm. brushing her hair out of her face, yes. Squeezing her ass like you're trying to milk it, I think twice. It all comes down to the pressure of your touch. Apply enough so that she knows that you're there, but that she knows that she could actually get away if she needed to. Again, it's about showing her that you're mindful of her boundaries and her preferences. And if you feel her getting a little more passionate and forceful in her movement, that's the direction that you can then go with her. I'm not saying that there's a definitive right or wrong here, just that when you're starting out, especially with someone new, it is important to make sure that you're both on the same page and let things build slowly together. In conclusion, you have got it now. I have given you the kissing do's and the don'ts, sparkled in a little bit of science and a whole lot of spicy kissy magic, and I guarantee that if you approach your next kiss with confidence, consideration, and these tips in mind, you will have her feeling pretty great about what you have up your sleeve in the bedroom, and she's gonna wanna find out ASAP. Which reminds me, if you are not feeling all that confident about your skills in the bedroom, well, that is something that we need to address because feeling confident in bed extends to being a confident and skilled kisser. And if kissing is the gateway to sex and you know that you're a pro, rest assured that she will pick up on it. So if you're feeling a little bit rusty in that department or if you just want to say, level up your game, check out my awesome female pleasure masterclass, She Comes to. In this class, I provide a detailed guide, literally step-by-step -step through seduction, foreplay, intercourse, and aftercare. I give you tips and techniques on sex positions, on oral sex, on manual sex, on mental sex, and I give you my orgasm guarantee. So if you do not like the course or find that it makes you a champion in the bedroom, you have 90 days full money back, no questions asked, refund. If you're interested in She Comes Too, the link is in the description below. So now you know, kissing is crucial. It is make or break. The moment where a woman decides if she is going to sleep with you or move on to the next guy. So remember, get consent, keep up the hygiene, save the nipples and the freakiness for later, and don't forget my four major keys for a foolproof orgasmic smooch. I am Caitlin V. Thank you for joining. Now get out there and get to locking lips, folks. I'll see you here next week.